so the topic we are going to present to you today is entitled Transcultural Itineraries, Brotherhood in Indian and Romanian Folk Tales. Uh, and the two presenters are Professor Alice Cristina Toma. She represents three institutions, Université Libre de Bruxelles, University of Bucharest, and uh, Institut de la Langue Roumaine. Uh, while I am uh, working and teaching in the Bucharest University of Economic Studies. For today's presentation, uh, we propose you um, um, journey, I could say, over various elements connected to the idea to the wide concept of brotherhood. Such a concept appears in various myths and legends, and we are interested to see we, together with you in what way they come up into distinct cultural and still connected cultural areas in India and Romania. If those relationships uh, are extended not only between human protagonists, characters, gods, and so on, but with animal entities, how they function over time, and if such relationships, the idea of brotherhood has been incorporated into uh, literary or artistic productions. Uh, and for this purpose, we have selected a very limited, unfortunately, amount of examples, six of them. And we can already see from the image on the right that the, um, this uh, representation of God Varuna is connected to one of the key areas, which is how the world emerged. From the very beginning, humans were interested to pose this question and to find their own answers in all sorts of stories um, which uh, were important for them to explore, to ex explain and to explore the beginning of uh, the, the world so that their own existence was related uh, to that uh, inception. In order to, to do this, we have um, appealed to uh, various theoretical tools one of them is the study authored by George uh, Williams, uh, so a handbook of Hindu mythology, in which he very uh, interestingly presents this series. I have done this circular diagram, but I would have liked to be able to present you a sort of spiral, because I, we think that this uh, topic can be explored, as we said, across time, across space, so perhaps uh, it, it is not a, exactly a circular, so a static representation in two dimensions, but it is uh, perhaps in four dimensions. So a space with uh, all its three dimensions plus time. So things go in spirals and humans uh, took elements from the previous, let's say, uh, stages um, and, um, wished to take them over and um, um, transmit them further to their descendants. Uh, another um, you know, important scholar is Mircea Eliade, and Alice will tell you about his contribution. Yes, uh, so as Dana said, we aim to show that folklore are joining mythology, changing the temporal and the spatial dimension. And uh, Mircea Eliade is one um, scholar who uh, present us the theory of the myth, joining as well the religion and the folklore. For the person of the myth are not human beings, they are gods or cultural heroes. And for this reason, they just are constitute mysteries. Men could not know they act if they were not relieved to him. The myth then is the history of what took place in Ilo Tempore, 
the recital of what the gods or the diving begins did at the beginning of the time. To tell a myth is to proclaim what happened up origin. So we try to show that uh, the tale, the legend, the ballad po put us in this time, in this dimension that is a dimension before the world, before the time start, is a dim dimension out of our history. And this dimension um, permit us to join cosmos and society. Men of the archaic and traditional societies connected with the cosmos and this sacred history then can be repeated again and again. A history organized by supradimensional beings or mythical heroes and transmitted through myth. So we are trying to read the tales and the ballad through this story of the myth. The myth serves as model for tremendous events that occur at the beginning of the time. The myth preserve and transmit the paradigm, the exemplary models for all the responsible activities in which men engage. By virtue of these paradigmatic models relieved to men in mythical time, the cosmos and the society are periodically re regenerated. So I will, I will stress once again, we try to follow this link to Ilo Tempore, Aborigine, and to uh, get out of the historical time in which the, the, tell, the, the, the story are normally put it. Uh, and uh, a dimension that we take into account is that this mythical time permit us to join the Romanian folk tales and the Indian folk tales. And about myth and Indian folk tales, Dana tell us no more. And uh, Eliade positioned his um, vision upon the archaic man uh, in connection with uh, uh, secondly, there are Uh, or to mention all of them, but I was particularly uh, impressed by two um, of them. Uh, Sukumari Bhattacharji, in her um, excellent study, uh, the Indian Theogony, uh, places um, this uh, idea of the mythical world, uh, and she uh, affirms from the very beginning that it is it has never been uh, a static <coughs> process, that it was linked to the vital needs yeah. of the people, that there were plenty of changes, and that the way the gods came into um, the representation uh, of the world for humans uh, showed the very way the very way uh, society was changing and how people thought about the world. Uh, another uh, key scholar uh, is uh, Michael uh, Witzel. He very uh, well and systematically uh, redefines what is the myth. Uh, so it was um, delivered uh, at special occasions. Uh, although there were numerous authors, many of them anonymous, through the process of time it became it became it, it has a certain standard. Uh, then there is a very obvious collective input into it. 
by those who uh, told the myths and later even by other uh, contributors such as writer who took various myth, myths into their own writings. Uh, it, it has always been uh, important for human, the human mind, for the human imaginary. Uh, I will kindly ask colleagues to put themselves on mute. Thank you. Um, and um, um, <clears throat> it it uh, also ex it also helped uh, people to explain the society they lived in. So it connected them with an in, uh, indistinct past, but it also allowed them to carry on their life. And another uh, prominent uh, Indian scholar whose works uh, concentrate on myths and what they bring to, to our uh, world is Devduk Patanaik. Uh, his statement is also interesting. It comes up in Mircea Eliade's uh, studies as well. So when one approaches myths or legends, um, one should, uh, leave uh, aside, if possible, uh, the rational, let's say, understanding of the world, because myths are not necessarily connected to how we logically and rationally think about it. Uh, and this is a very brief uh, slide to um, present you the kind of legends and myths we will explore uh, together. In order to engage in this comparative journey, I have also uh, taken this uh, chart uh, proposed by uh, Sukumari Bhattacharji, in which uh, she indicates that Indian gods have been from the very beginning even assigned to a spatial map type of mapping. Their functions, their roles were uh, related to the place, uh, to the geography of the world. And uh, the, those places are obviously symbolical for our understanding. What is interesting for the first example uh, we will see together is that Yama, the god of death, is positioned in the south, uh, which is a obvious differentiation in most mythological um, narratives uh, related to the Judeo-Christian tradition. The place of you know, death and resurrection is predominantly seen as the east. <clears throat> so the first uh, narrative I have uh, looked into is the story of Yama and Yamuna. Yama was the god of death and uh, Yami, uh, later known as Yamuna, was his uh, sister. Uh, there are two elements about the two of them. Firstly, at a certain point, Yami Yamuna felt an irresistible attraction to her, her brother, but Yama uh, refused to get into uh, a personal intimate uh, relationship. And um, so that the, um, the understanding of the moral in relation to even uh, such a close bonding was very clear to early humans. And uh, later on, uh, when uh, uh, he visited uh, her, he was uh, incredibly impressed by her kindness and hospitality. And because she was so uh, generous to him, um, uh, he offered her uh, his own protection and she, uh, later became one of the, you know, um, mo most important rivers and most important goddesses in the Indian um, um, 
imaginary and uh, in the Indian mythology. So the relationship changed and uh, Sukumari Bhattacharji points that uh, this, let's say, initial uh, temptation of an incest grew later on into a very uh, solid and warm relationship and bonding between the two of them. And uh, the second representation is about um, Balarama, God Balarama, and uh, his effort to um, uh, get uh, the goddess. Um, he was intoxicated and he felt the need to cool himself down. Uh, the goddess, so uh, Yamuna, the she refused, but then she uh, submitted to his will. And uh, this uh, visual representation uh, shows again that, you know, as a goddess, as a woman, she was um, generous, but she was also open, we might say, to change. So the first example from Romania, from Romanian folklore, is a ballad, uh, The Sun and the Moon. And uh, in uh, this uh, story, the brotherhood is um, a blood one, if I can uh, say that, uh, and uh, is a relation that uh, put together the, the brotherhood and the love. Uh, the love is not possible between uh, brothers. The, um, um, and uh, uh, the ballad get us a um, solution of this uh, impossible love. Ilana Sanziana is the brand of the femininity in the Romanian uh, tales. And uh, she's the little sister of the uh, man who want to marry uh, this uh, little sister. Uh, uh, the feminine principle is the one he, who is in opposition of um, this um, uh, um, uh, desire of his brother. And first of, uh, of all, to um, uh, put um, a distance uh, between uh, the, the brothers, the little sister asks uh, uh, brother, uh, for an iron staircase to the sky, then a brass bridge over the Black Sea. The brother um, is uh, the one who did this. And so Ilana Samziana uh, have to accept the love, but she don't want to accept. She jump into the sea, drown and is rescued and turn into a barber and um, the second metamorphosis is that the two brothers, um, the little sister and the big brother are transformed in the sun and the moon so that they can uh, never meet each other, but uh, they uh, can uh, give they love by the light, the, the moonlight and, uh, and the sunlight. So this is um, the first kind of brotherhood that uh, we find in the Romanian stories. And uh, this, um, this kind of relation show us how strong the brothers uh, are in the um, mythology. The myth is the last, not the first stage in the development of a hero. 
The recollection of historical event is a real personal survive is a popular memory for two or three centuries or the uh, at most. This is because popular memory find difficulties in retelling individual event and real figure. The structure by means of which in function are different categories instead of event adjective instead of historical personage, the historical personage is assimilated to this mystical model hero, while the event is identified with the category of mythical action, fight with a monster, enemy, brothers, uh, etc. So, um, in in this uh, legend, in this uh, ballad, in fact, we have this uh, kind of uh, memory, popular memory, that takes some um, uh, characters and uh, transforms it in the uh, prototypes. In, in this case, to explain the impossible love and. Um, um, a, a specifically relation of uh, brotherhood. And again, uh, a very short comment provided by Mircea Eliade, um, which uh, Alice has uh, already presented. And uh, the second uh, a remark on uh, that we can do uh, um, at the end of uh, reading of this uh, story is the pain and suffering taking as positive value. So the um, Ilana Sanziana, the feminine principle, the feminine uh, hero uh, is suffering uh, in the situation of this impossible love, but the cosmos, the nature, uh, give a possible uh, remade to this uh, situation. And uh, so Eliade uh, here uh, is opposing the sacred world and the profane world. And if in the profane world, the suffering is uh, as a negative, uh, are a negative value, in the profane world, we can give a positive um, value to, to this uh, pain. And uh, that's what this uh, legend show us, in fact. Another kind of example uh, we will very briefly explore today is um, related to an episode uh, connecting uh, Krishna and Draupadi. Of course, we know that there are uh, plenty of examples in the Indian mythology, but I have selected this uh, particular uh, instance. So Krishna calls her the Sakhi of very, um, close and uh, intimate friend. Uh, he cares very much about her. So uh, his relationship, his attitude towards her is a protective one. And uh, there is one incident in which her own uh, affection to him comes up. There are two uh, variations of the story in some uh, legends um, Krishna cuts his uh, little finger in a sugar cane. In other um, examples, uh, it appears that he cut his little finger in the Sudarshan chakra. However, uh, and uh, various uh, women close to him uh, come to, to help him, but Draupadi is the one who tears immediately her own sari in order to uh, help uh, him uh, to get immediate uh, medical help. So the affection uh, turns into a very simple gesture. And of course, Krishna is very um, um, touched by her uh, kindness 
to do such uh, to do such a gesture immediately. And later in other incidents, uh, when we know that um, uh, she would uh, have been exposed um, and uh, in public, uh, he extends his protection and her sari would never, you, you know, reveal uh, her body. So the such a bonding comes up in representation in which uh, the affection and the protection mix uh, together. So the second uh, example that, uh, that we take for the Romanian folk is a tale, a tale of uh, Ion Kranga, a preeminent Romanian writer of uh, 19th century. And in this tale, we find a second uh, kind of uh, brotherhood, is the brotherhood as a friendship. What is uh, interesting here that uh, we have two uh, categories of uh, uh, heroes. The negative one, the bad one, you have uh, at the left, and uh, the positive one that we have at the right. Uh, I would like uh, to uh, stress only that uh, the name of the personage, Harap Alp, is a syncretism. Harap is a black man and Alp is white. So we have um, the, the um, uh, two principles in one the characters, the black white man, if you want, we can um, uh, say like that. And uh, uh, in uh, the um, uh, relation, uh, the relation between Harap Alp, the black white man, and the two kind of characters, the negative one and the positive one, are uh, always focused on the positive one. And this is interesting how a human being uh, uh, gain the the love, the this respect of the animals and of the uh, another five friends that are uh, um, uh, physical and psychological uh, characteristic, extraordinary physical and psychological characteristic. So we. Uh, uh, pass from the brotherhood in the family uh, between uh, only two um, uh, characters in the first example. Here we have a kind of largest brotherhood of friendship, in fact, between one main character and many other characters. And uh, what uh, I would like to stress that is this capacity of human being to transgress his uh, human nature and to uh, get a dialogue with the uh, animals, in, uh, in particular here, so with the cosmos, so in, 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 in uh, extrapolation, uh, if we do extrapolation. So this, uh, uh, um, uh, this is what myth can us to see, to go that we said uh, at the beginning, uh, over the uh, spatial and uh, temporal uh, dimension of the society uh, to get in this uh, um, uh, not in circle, but a spiral of the time and the space. Another example uh, um, which shows us the diversity uh, of brotherhood connections is the one related to King Bali and Lakshmi. So uh, they come up in the Puranas in various examples. Uh, King Bali, although he was a demon, he was an extremely benevolent and kind type of um, mythological uh, figure. So he asked Vishnu to live in his own residence. Goddess Lakshmi 
is does not like it very much. So she would have obviously liked her father, uh, her husband to uh, to live with herself. And in order to get back her husband, we might say, uh, she comes up with a sort of a feminine uh, diplomatic plan. So uh, she uh, goes to uh, King Bali uh, and offers him the famous uh, Raki uh, Thai. Uh, he is, of course, um, very touched by her, her gesture. And then he asks, what wish would you like to, uh, for me uh, to make uh, true uh, to yourself, to fulfill your wish? And then she said, uh, of course, uh, I would like Vishnu to come back so he cannot deny uh, her request. So uh, this is a way of solving what we may say, even in the realm of gods, uh, a situation between uh, outside of uh, ordinary order. So in very many mythological and tales and legends, there is a clash between, let's say, a coherent type of order, things that humans and gods accepted as norms uh, in um, um, relation with the morality of the times, with the morals of the times, and situations where uh, the relationship go outside the order. And of course, even gods try to restore order back. Yes, in fact, uh, this uh, relation of brotherhood go uh, farther as uh, Dana mentioned and God are uh, involved in this kind of relation. I uh, um, is Dana that find this uh, third uh, example for uh, Romanian folk a very interesting uh, example because the relation of brotherhood is not anymore between a uh, human is not anymore between human and animals but is a relation that we can um, um, uh, Characterize as a cosmogology relation because, uh, due to the friendship, the brotherhood between uh, God and uh, um, the negative principle, he, we, uh, we assist. To the, uh, to the apparition, um, apparition of the um, of the world. So, in fact, brother, the god, and non-brother, the negative principle, are together before the world was created. And I uh, uh, would. Uh, I don't uh, read this uh, citation, but I leave you to uh, uh, leave you you to to read it and to see how the Romanian uh, conception work uh, between this uh, relation in which friendship appears between brother and non no brother. A special relation that is not anymore beginning, but is uh, one single uh, direction. And uh, so uh, at the end uh, of this uh, um, reading of different stories, Romanian and Indian one, we can uh, find some uh, points that uh, um, um, are uh, in common uh, for the um, uh, um, way in which the brotherhood appears. In the case of the mythical time, imagination and human intelligence can transcend the immediate time dimension inventing time circles in which the transcosmical brotherhood is possible 
the solution being multiple of fantastic, magical, sacred, religious nature. In the case of physiological time, we cannot live in our temporal dimension without dying. However, strong bonding such as brotherhood can overcome temporary obstacles for forced profound con connection between those sharing with similar values. In the case of affective time, the brotherhood as other human affective dimensions like love and death is the ineffable, the mystery that each of us is carrying the experience that cannot be transmitted is what we name in Romanian Trăira. And I found in uh, Hindi uh, Jivit. Yeah. Uh, so I looked upon the, I hope it is the correct uh, equivalent <laughs> of uh, living respectively Trăira, the way humans thought about uh, living. And uh, to conclude, uh, we are sorry that it uh, took longer than planned. So these examples, which can, we have, of course, the series of examples go beyond what we could present today. Uh, they explore both blood and uh, ties connections beyond family or very close uh, members. They expand into the world of gods, humans, and even animal type of characters, protagonists. Uh, they are also multiple. They go upon different situations. So time is, um, so there are specific incidents, but also the way they are represented by the authors of lo uh, legends miss come up in different um, ways, in different types of examples. Uh, however, this concept was uh, showing uh, how um, vital brotherhood was for, especially for small or larger communities. And that they thought about of it of being able to sustain the very life of community. So it was the foundation of uh, human existence and which through such mythical uh, uh, tales and legends, they wish to transmit to their own children and grandchildren and other future descendants um, such values in order to uh, uh, allow future generations to have a, a good understanding of their own existence. And uh, the bibliography, uh, the sources we have used for our presentation. Thank you very much. And we look forward to listening to the next presentations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's a wonderful presentation.